What do nuts count? We present deeply in this video the benefits of nut. Welcome to In Health and Beauty channel. Please don't forget to subscribe in our channel and hit the bell button to be notified as soon as we upload new videos. Many people say, nuts is a sort of fruit. So, we can recognize the nut from its nutshell that makes nutshell very hard and encloses the seed, which we call it nut. Strictly speaking, only hazelnut and macadamia nuts are common types of nuts. Beech nuts and chestnuts are also real nuts. Peanuts are legumes. This can also be seen on the shell, it is not hard, and, like other sleeves, can be easily opened at the seams on the stomach and back. From a botanical point of view, almonds, pistachios, coconuts and pecans belong to the droops. With stone fruits only the inner pericarp is lignified. Cashews are also not nuts, but the seeds of the cashew which the shell fruit belongs. And it gets even better. While the shea nut is botanically a berry, the strawberry is a so-called nut-like closing fruit, also known as a common nut fruit. The name says it, flax and kia seeds counting, such as sesame and poppy seeds, to the seeds. What do nuts contain? Protein. Nuts are good sources of protein. Peanuts contain 25 grams of protein, 100 grams, pumpkin seeds even 35 grams, 100 grams. In addition, these proteins have a relatively high so-called biological value for a plant-based food. This means that the body can convert food protein into its own proteins more efficiently than, say, the proteins of most types of grain. Omega-3 fatty acids. The unsaturated fatty acids are mainly found in flax seeds, kia seeds and walnuts. Flax seeds contain 20 grams of alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, per 100 grams, or 10 grams for the same amount of walnuts. Iron, sesame, pistachio, and pumpkin seeds can be sources of iron. Sesame seeds contain 10 milligrams of iron, 100 grams, so about one tablespoon of sesame seeds contains two milligrams of iron. Hit the like button if you like our content. How healthy are nuts? The professional associations agree that nuts should be part of a balanced diet. They contain healthy fatty acids and are a good source of vegetable protein. In general, you can say that they are healthy. How healthy exactly is, however, not that easy to answer. Finding out how certain foods affect health is always a complex research task. Because many factors play a role and the question of correlation or causality arises. The research situation is not entirely clear here. In 2015, a large meta-analysis by the renowned Cochrane Network aimed to the conclusion that the data on whether nuts really have a positive effect on cardiovascular diseases are still very weak. Since then, however, there have been other large studies that describe positive effects on cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and heart health in general. The consumption of nuts and almonds probably lowers the risk of developing coronary heart disease. Nuts are recommended because of their benefits for heart health are greater than the disadvantages due to the high calorie content. Overall, nuts seem to have a positive impact. When almonds are part of the meal for people at risk of type 2 diabetes, the typical drop in blood sugar levels after eating is reduced and the feeling of satiety is increased. In addition, the insulin levels and other blood values are better when consuming almonds. Walnuts also occurred with improved insulin metabolism and better vascular function in people with type 2 diabetes. Among other things, people with diabetes who eat pistachios had better sugar metabolism. Who shouldn't eat nuts? Of course, people with an allergy to nuts shouldn't eat them. Those who are allergic to birch pollen often cannot tolerate nuts because the allergenic substances in both are very similar. This effect is also called cross-allergy. Children under 3 years of age should not eat nuts because there is a high risk of choking and choking. Nut butter can be used for children. How many nuts should you eat? 
The American Food and Drug Administration FDA, even recommends 40 grams. As a rough rule of thumb, you can memorize a handful of nuts per day. Nuts are high in calories, which makes one wonder, do nuts make you fat? This was suspected for a long time, but now most experts agree, the positive effect on health predominates.